Hello, I'm Yasmin. Welcome to my channel, Mental Health Combos, where we educate, empower, elevate, and embrace. So this video is over borderline personality disorder. And before we get into the video, please make sure you go ahead and subscribe and turn the notification bell on because you don't want to miss any of these videos that I have for you. And um, Brandy, the singer, she has a song called Borderline. Now, Brandy as we mostly call her the vocal bible okay brandy has this new song and in the video um it depicts her going through some ups and downs as she sings about her romantic relationship and it also shows her in a psychiatric hospital in a padded room and wearing a straight jacket now for those of you that have been in love love can make us do some things out of care now some of the lyrics are i don't want to be skits all this time never ever cheat never lie to me i'm the most jealous girl in the whole wide world don't you ever hurt me i'll change on you i will do me and you how i'm so dangerous baby i need you to see believe what you see feel what i feel and my feelings don't die it's why i cry i need to heal got another lady having a baby going crazy but i'll be your friend baby so these are some of the lyrics now skit so um some people just say that and they mean schizophrenia but uh, that's that's a whole nother video. I'll do another video on schizophrenia so we can talk about that. But I just wanted to address um, borderline personality disorder in this video. So what is borderline personality disorder? In this video, I'll refer to it as BPD. It's a mental health disorder marked by varying mood, self-image, and behavior. People with borderline personality disorder typically have uh, instability in personal relationships, self-image, and effects, and they're very impulsive. And they may have periods of anger, depression, and anxiety lasting between hours and days. They really struggle with relationships. Some signs of BPD. Number one, frantic efforts to avoid real or imagined abandonment. They don't want to be alone. They don't want to be abandoned. And if they do, it, it, can, be, it can be problematic. They don't want to be alone. They don't want to be abandoned. So they do everything they can to not be abandoned. Number two, a pattern of unstable and intense interpersonal relationships characterized by alternating between extremes of idolization and evaluation. So they may say, oh my God, I love him. I love him. I want to be with her. Or I love her so much to the point to devaluation where I hate him. I hate her. So it can be a just worshiping the ground that their um, lover work, walks on to a period of I hate them, I can't stand them. Identity disturbing, where they um, have unstable self image or sense of self. They may think, Oh, you know, this person doesn't like me because I'm fat, or they just have like unstable self images where they may look at themselves. That could be a hundred, a hundred pounds soaking wet, and in their mind, they may be fat, they may see themselves as fat, so it's like a unstable self-image or sense of self um they can be very impulsive and and do things that can be self-damaging such as just having unprotected sex with any and everybody their spending habits may be out of control they may use drugs they may binge eat they may record stop just doing things that most people are like you know you're doing stuff out of character are you okay uh recurrent suicidal behavior gestures or threats so they may have suicidal ideations they may try to act on it they may cut themselves they may have kind of uh, self-harm behaviors number six effective instability due to marked reactivity of mood so they could be very moody very moody angry anger just comes out of nowhere hard to control their anger and then they could also be um like easily aggravated easily irritated when things don't go their way they kind of get into a tantrum those kind of things and then transient stress related paranoia ideation severe dissociative symptoms so sometimes they may overthink and they may be paranoid so um if they're dating someone if that person doesn't answer um, when they call oh you're doing something you don't want to be with me you're you're avoiding me that kind of thing other things relating to borderline personality disorder is that their self-image can change drastically. They may feel on top of the world and then later feel worthless and useless. They can be very loving and nurturing to their partners and other people. And then they turn around and have the same expectation that they'll get the same treatment in return. But the way you treat somebody doesn't necessarily mean that that's how they will treat you. For example, in the song, Brandy's like, I want you to feel what I feel, see what I see. But when her partner doesn't, 
it it upsets her. It it um throws off her balance. Um, the way they feel about people can change easily. They can go from loving and adoring someone to hating them. As I said before, they can be idolizing um the ground that they of the person that they love walking on to. I hate them. If that bitch was on fire, I wouldn't spit on her. Like things like that. And um, that's also it, it can also be called a splitting. Um, patterns of unstable and, retin and intense relationship. As I said, these type of people they struggle in relationships. And then anger may be shown when um, the lover is not caring, is not attentive or neglectful. As I said, you may run into someone that says, "You know, I've been calling you and you have not called me back. You don't want to be with me. You don't. You don't um, care about me. Things like that." And it may not be that. It may just be that the person they're seeing or dating. It's very busy. I know I work in, in um, different jobs where I cannot have my phone on me. I've worked in a factory before. I've done a lot of different jobs. And we cannot have our phones on us. And, you know, sometimes you get text messages about, oh, you don't want to talk to me. If you don't want to say nothing to me. If you don't want to be bothered, just say it. And it's like, wait, what, babe? I'm, I told you I was at work. So you'll, you'll see those type of behaviors. They may have recurrent job losses, failed marriages, and relationships. And they may feel more secure with pets versus people or transitional objects. So, you know, like how a kid may have a teddy bear. That's, that, that is something that's considered like a, a transitional object, something that is comforting to them. So they may have things going on such as self-sabotage where they may um, be about to finish school and just suddenly drop out. Um, sometimes they may have a good relationship going on, but they sabotage it because they fear that it won't last. Oh, then this, I can't trust this person. I know I won't be able to trust them, but the person has just been absolutely amazing to them, has showed them that they have no reason not to trust them, but they just self-sabotage. Some have psychotic features where they may hallucinate. As I said, have distorted body images or have ideas of reference. And so ideas of reference are kind of things like um, they may just think, that the things that people say are about them when in actuality it has absolutely nothing to do with them. The idea of rejection, separation, or loss can lead to changes in self-image, effect, cognition, and behavior. So, um, basically in the video, the, the man, he doesn't feel the way that Brandy feels. So, this is like a rejection. And he's he's not giving her the attention. He's not responding to her as she wants him to. So... These kind of things can lead to changes in self-image, affect cognition, and behavior. So, you know, somebody doesn't want you that may make you feel low about yourself, right? You're crazy about this person. You're showing this person love, but they, they're they not giving it back. They can make you feel some kind of way, right? Um, They may have abandonment fears related to them not wanting to be alone and need to be around other people. And then panic or fury um, can come about when things don't go their way. So... If I if I want to be with you, you're not responding to how I want you to respond. It well, not me personally, but for the example, they can become furious. Anger will come, and sometimes they can't control their anger. So what causes borderline personality disorder? The causes are not fully understood. But genetics, environmental factors, and brain function can play a role. It's also been known that physical and sexual abuse, neglect, hostile conflicts, um, and early parental loss are common in childhood histories of people with BPD. Treatment for BPD. Now, therapy, medication, meds such as mood stabilizers and antidepressants can help. One quick fact is that women are diagnosed with BPD more than men. About 75% of people diagnosed also, are women. Uh, in the video, Brandy's acting, but um, if the the um, if BPD is, is so severe, um, hospitalization is um, an option. And of course, you know, in every video, I will connect you with some resources. So the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline, as if you remember back, you know, suicide can be um, one of the signs of suicidal behavior. So 1-800-273-TALK is where you can get 
get connected to someone to address those concerns. The distress, a disaster distress hotline is 1-800-985-5990. Or you can text TALK with us to 66746. The Veterans Crisis Line is 838-255. And the Crisis Text Line, you can text HELLO, H-E-L-L-O, to 741-741. And um, the National Institute of Mental Health is where I got this information from. And they listed these as resources there. And I just wanted to share it with you all. If you are new here, if you are new here please don't forget to subscribe. And also, let me know what y'all think in the comments. Like, you know, with borderline personality going on. Have you ever have you ever been in a relationship with someone with borderline personality? Let me know in the comments what y'all think. Thank you. Bye.